Yeah, that's a good boy. That's a good boy. What do you do? Mm. Welcome back to the OC Homestead. I'm Donald and my wife. Leah. Yeah, there she is. <laughs> <laughs> we uh, we're out here checking out the uh, garden right now, and uh, checking on things. You know, we've had quite a bit of rain last week. How many inches did we get? Three point three. Three point three. Yeah, three point three. Three point three. In about two and a half days. In two and a half days. Okay. So let's look at the uh, garden here. So what do we got here, hon? Here. This is our potatoes. There is some onions mixed in with them, but all this... Ah! Uh, you know, yep, unfortunately, those turds have come back. They weren't there earlier. I'll have to come back and put some diamantaceous earth on them. But uh, those are the potato potato beetles. Potato beetles. Well, they're called Colorado potato beetles, but who cares about the Colorado part? <laughs> That's the type of beetle. They need to go back to Colorado. Exactly. There's some better crops up there. But um, but these are. <laughs> you hear the donkey? <laughs> <laughs> but uh, these are all the potatoes here. And I think I got another one growing right here too. I don't think that's one. No. But you can see they're blooming. These are pretty easy to So they only eat off. potatoes? Yeah, these are only potato. No, the the beetles. They only eat yeah. potatoes. Yeah, that's why they're they're potato. So how do you fight them off? <clears throat> um, hopefully by placing uh putting down diametaceous earth without having to use a spray. Cause I do get no, it's another little I don't know what the heck that is. <clears throat> I have seen ladybugs out here, which is good for the Aphids. Time We're to good. start staking. Yeah, we got one down here we need to stake. Well, we got a couple, but we got one over here that's pretty. What are these? Pretty. I think these are the beefsteak tomatoes. I only had a few. Here, turn around. Talk to me. Sorry, I'm like falling down because I watered. But see, here we got a handful of tomatoes there. Some good ones right there. Hang on. Oh, there's a ladybug. We want the ladybug to stay. Then if, these, is she not, is the ladybug eating the plant? No. You'll no. eat the little white insects called aphids that eat plants. Oh yeah, that yeah. one needs to be sticked up. Yeah, and look at all these little Here, these are strange, strange. Here, see me. Let's see if I can take some of it off and then. But um, I think that one's sweet 100s because they're, they're itty bitty. There's a bunch of itty bitty ones on that one. But uh, ladybugs eat aphids, which are the little white insects that will eat. They will take over your plant. They're common. They like roses a lot, rose bushes. So if you ever see little white, well, they start up green, but little white bugs on the bottom half, underneath the underneath of your plant, then you know that it's a. Uh, um, yeah. See if we can get a little. Hang on, hang on, hang on. Okay. Let, let me see it. That'll work for now. We still keep it from. There we go. So we need to get some stakes and stake these up better. Then there's these. These guys are staying up pretty good. This is, I'll put a stick in the ground because it's, oh, down there where that, that, not the big stick, but the little one, that's where all their carrots, and there's a few, oh wait, no, I said it corrected. There's some tomato plants that we got, by, did by seed, so they're still a little small, I don't know how, what they're going to do. A couple onions that were. I think were, we need to start them way, way, way earlier, like in. Yeah. We probably need to start them like in December. Well, we have enough seed. 
left over that we won't. Of course, more onions, pepper, jalapenos, and then green peppers, which they're starting to produce fruit on them too. Really? Let's go look at it. Yep. Over here. starting to get a little flowering. But, um, there we go. Here's the green pepper. The bell pepper. Well, they call them green peppers, but yeah, bell pepper. Um, oh, your there? carrots are right here. Yeah, they're still a little scrawny. There's some that are slowly, I don't know how well, car carrots are gonna have to probably change how we do, the, do them start them off too. They say that they're kind of hard. And I'm not, I know that there's some Virginia creeper in here, which I, I gotta get some more of that out. But I can't tell. <laughs> I planted corn, uh, I have a row and a half of corn, a half a row of sunflower seeds, and then two rows of green beans. And I tried to rake it to where I could tell, but after the rain, I, I can't tell where I planted. I don't know. I don't know. I'm just going to have to keep an eye. What I'm going to do is have to need to pull everything that's Virginia creeper out and leave everything else until I can make sure exactly what it is. But I know I put a lot of it in a row. Well, corn is so, very obvious what corn is. So you'll know what corn <coughs> is. But. Well, we're not quite there yet with corn then because I'm not seeing any yet. But I just planted it like last, last week. Right. So. But, um... Mm. And then... Well, uh, let's go. Uh, let's go take a look at our uh, the pigs. <laughs> so here's all of our piggies. What are you two doing? <laughs> so we found out that Miss Piggy got a little, got a little scratch. Are you okay? It's a pretty big scratch. We think she got it going through the opening in between the two pens right over there. Probably when they're they, they like to chase each other and run really fast. So I'm sure that's probably what happened. They were chasing each other and and she probably got hit. But you're okay, aren't you, Miss Piggy? Yeah. And those two brothers. <laughs> Don't they always clean their food before they eat it? <laughs> They're not gonna eat each other. Now the chickens, on the other hand, they love this stuff. Dandelion? Mm-hmm. You can make some dandelion gar uh, salad with that. Oh, yeah, some make a, a jelly out of it. Do they make that out of the flowers or the leaves? Out of the flowers. <coughs> huh. Never thought of that. I never thought of making a jelly out of dandelion. I was yeah. always told that they were poisonous. No, I didn't. Hmm. Yeah, they, they, were, they were just a weed, but they're more than just a weed. They provide pollen and stuff for the bees. Cool. And then we'll... Hi, Mr. Rue. Hi, Mr. Rue. Hi, Mr. Rue. There's Mr. Rue. He's getting big. They just don't like you petting them for some strange reason. I'd be petting one and another one would pick me. <laughs> Sillies. Hi there. How are you? Please don't pick me. Why do you pick your 
poop for? What? What? <laughs> oh, watch it. Please don't hit me in the hand. <laughs> Play this way. Well, they're sitting next to me. They're come up beside me. Oh, you just took the whole thing out of my hand. You want it? Yep. Okay. You want it? Okay. <laughs> No, it doesn't have as pretty. What? Uh, so hey, what? Where? Where did our meat birds go, Leah? I don't see oh. their pen over there. Uh, we moved them. We moved. Oh, we moved them. Give them some more green. New maybe. ground, new greens, some green. I mean, what we're trying to do is we're trying to, uh, um, I guess, make that into a pasture area. Uh, that's uh, an area that is designated all for grass and uh, well uh, we put our meat birds over there of course we're going to move them every day over there and hopefully their little droppings can uh, fertilize the ground mm -hmm. right right all right well thanks for uh, watching oh, can't find me thanks for watching our <laughs> channel you know we really appreciate it and uh, make sure to like this video, give it a big thumbs up. <laughs> and subscribe and what? Hit the notification bell. Ring the notification bell. Thanks for watching. Bye.